is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out the show today a little bit differently. Uh, Mr. Z has asked us to talk about the gold market, and as you can see from the chart that he's posted here, that we are at some major support uh, here in the gold, and breaking down would be, uh, you know, quite negative. Um, well, since uh, early in the in the middle of the night, there was something that I hadn't seen before, and I sent this out to everyone because it looked like a, a pretty good setup. Now, this is a, this is coming a little bit late, but I sent it out before it happened. I just wasn't even going to talk about it, but since Mr. Z was talking about it, I wanted him to uh, uh, follow up with what he's talking about. This is the gold market, folks. On the left, it's a 15-minute chart over the last several days. You can see the butterfly pattern, the ABCD up there at 1820. Folks, the 382 retracement on this was 1818. Uh, that's where we suggested to go short. And the main reason for that was that butterfly pattern. But look at the silver on the right, folks. Over the last three days, all it can do today with gold up 20 some dollars at one time, all it could do was make the exact 382 retracement at 2630. And we've been, as you can see here on this, this was done a long time ago. Uh, well, actually, well, I, of course, a long time ago, whatever it was. Anyway, we've uh, we've broken down quite a bit. And you can see the gold market now has gone all the way down to the 1794 level. And, of course, going below 1790 would uh, cause this to be a relatively tough day. If we get – in fact, we've already had an outside day. Uh, from yesterday, uh, is that right? No, no, we have to go below 1790. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, the the key was 1818 was the 382 retracement. Uh, that on the long term, that's where we decided to sell. We've since put our um, we put our what do you call it uh, stops now, so we've locked in a profit. And you know that's what our whole purpose of doing this is is to do that. I'll talk about the uh, stock market here in just a little bit, but I have a question from one of our uh, listeners here about uh, the uh, the uh, Dr. Copper, and if I can just find it, I did it, and I hope I did it right. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Okay, his question, here it is. This is a pretty good analogy anyway. Let's take a look. This is a 60-minute chart of copper. That's the blue line, okay? That's the uh, – no, let's do it. Let's try to do it right, Larry. Okay, copper is the one with the candlesticks. The blue line is the E-mini S&P. Now, you can see that they follow relatively well. I mean, you know, it's not a bad fit. There's no question about it. I mean, they're off a little bit. But my suggestion to Chris is to look at each one separately. Keep it as simple as possible. You know, the more confusing you get, you know, the tougher it is. I don't know if it's a function of my old age. when well, I'm not at that old. I'm only 80. But, you know, I, it's just a function of uh, keeping it as simple as possible. I mean, we had so many things going on today that there was absolutely – no way you could keep up with all of them. We had a a sell in the bond contract right right near the high. I mean, this was one of the things that we we talked about here yesterday uh, on the show. We were looking at the TLT. If you'll remember that uh, the TLT was right up into that zone where you wanted to be looking to sell it, and today the bonds hit uh, the FIP number at uh, one. 64.20. Uh, the high was uh, 164.28. They're a, they're a full thousand dollars lower than that now. So you you can book part part of your profits now. But frankly, the best thing to do is to you know put it put in a stop at uh, at your break even point and let it rip because it's four or five days up. You might even get a little bit of a pullback. You know, so that's it. We we'll have to wait and see if that's going to be the case. But it's all it's all about the amount that you have to risk. My comments to Chris was. And this, I hope he's listening, is the fact that just look at each one separately. It makes it a lot easier because sometimes they work, sometimes they work, and they don't work. But that's true of every single pattern that we do. So just get used to it. Yeah, and believe me, you think I get used to it? Heck no. You know, I, I had I had like, well, never mind. It doesn't make any difference. The thing that you want to remember is you've got to realize 
what your limitations are. If you ever like Clint Eastwood, one of my favorites is uh, uh, his movie with, uh, oh, God, what's his name? I can't remember. <laughs> oh, anyway, it's uh, a man has to know his limitations. And boy, if that's not extreme, what was it called? Extreme Danger or something like that? I can't remember which one it was. It was one of the Dirty Harry films. But uh, the main thing is you do have to know uh, what your uh, what what that no feeling lucky was the uh, the very first one. That was uh, uh, that was the very first one of the group. Hal Holbrook was the guy. Doggone it! Now my my the old gray matter. Magnum Four shut the front door. David White. Mister Google strikes again. Never fear. Mister Google is here. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the stock market, folks. The stock market has been telling us for a few days there was danger above above here. There was. We we. I'm just gonna. I don't want to keep repeating these because you know it don't mean anything. And does this the top? Hell, I don't know. They keep asking me that. I will know this if we go below 4240. In the S&P 500, by golly, there's some type of a top has been put in. But we didn't da do any damage today being down 65 handles. We've already rallied back 30-some handles, 35 handles on the way back up. So that it's not a big deal. It really isn't. There, you know, we had we were looking. I think the one that 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 was the most important, other than that Nasdaq, was the fact that the New York Stock Exchange. I did it again. Shut the front door. Sorry, guys. I'm a little tiny bit tired. Okay. Shane Smolian will be our guest at the break to talk to us about the Fed. And boy, the boys are in there swinging big bats today. You'll notice here in that NASDAQ, uh, New York Stock Exchange Index, that we have the shoulder, head, shoulder perfectly. Now, we've sold off. Going above that right shoulder now is so bullish you don't even want to think about it. Okay, please repost my chart, and I will. So give me one second, and I'm going to do that because I will just reiterate where we are. By the way, folks, you've got a chance to attend a seminar, virtual seminar, or in person in Mexico City on risk management. And you will never guess, you will never guess, in 3,526 years, how the, the person that, that is putting it on is uh, who's going to give it. Do you want to take a guess? Let me give you a little hint, folks. The Barings Bank, none other than Nick. I can short into an earthquake. Lisan, Nick Lisan will be giving a seminar on risk management in options, forex, commodities, and stocks and bonds. He's got five different ones. Boy, I'll tell you, boy, that is what they call in in Italian hutzpa because that son of a gun. I mean, I can't believe that he 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 buried a bank that had been in business for 300 years. But you know what? He's probably learned his lesson, and that's what he's doing. So God bless him. I hope he'll tell you something. That, hey, if you, can't, if you can't learn any lessons about risk control, after burying a 300-year-old bank, you'll never learn your lessons in risk control. I didn't learn my risk in, lessons in risk control till I lost all my money way back in 1974. I didn't trade for well over almost 12 months before I got back into it after I had studied a lot. And so that that's that's what you have to do. So when I saw his name there, I smiled. I've seen the movie a couple times, but uh, I remember I remember the situation and what happened. Uh, those of you that are young and don't know this, he was a. He, uh, hey, let's take a break. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, here's a chart that we focused in the video at the beginning of the week, and that was the Hang Seng on the weekly basis. The reason why this is important, folks, if you look, and this is weekly, folks, so you're seeing a half a year's action here on the right-hand side. Uh, basically, what you're seeing here is a market that's rallied up to a 50% retracement in ABCD format, and then you can see what's happened between last week and this week. We have now went below the 27,000 level folks with the big a big drop we had uh, yesterday and again today in the Hang Seng in, in the Hang Seng index they are saying the, the the pundits are in the news are saying it's due because Chinese has clamped down on the stocks of Alibaba and Baidu and whatever they are DD da da do do and DD and anyway, th this is a market that's broken down now, so it, it could be going a great deal lower. Now, let me just say just a tiny bit of information, okay? I know a lot of you people don't believe in Bitcoin, and frankly, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work or not, if it's going to mean anything or not. But I've been working with John Jameson for two and a half years, and he's told me step by step what was going to happen. And me being the hard-headed um, fatte fubo is an Italian word for get wise – I, I never did it. I never bought any of the stuff at six and seven cents that I could have. It is since you know a great deal higher. Someday I might, but you know, hey, at my age, I can see the eighth furlong pole, and you know, I'm not even worried about it. And I'm still having fun doing it. The reason why I'm bringing this up here, he's told me along the way what was going to happen when it was sixty-five thousand at three drive to a top. You know, and he does a little bit of pattern stuff, but you know, his main thing is statistics and mathematics. But he said that it's going to go back to below 30,000 and most probably closer to 20,000. He said that three, two and a half months ago, folks. And here we are, we're at 32,000. I think we're heading to that next number. So if it gets there at 20,000, you got to respect him. Remember what Muhammad Ali said, if you're bragging, it ain't bragging. So that's the main, oh no, he said, if, you're, he says, if you can do it, you ain't bragging. That's it. Uh, I met uh, Muhammad Ali a couple times in Las Vegas, and what a what a class act that dude is. Let me tell you, he or was he was a really a wonderful guy. I know my voice sounds okay. I love this stuff, Tucker. You know, I've been doing it for a long time, and and I'm worried about Arch because Arch is quitting. You know, I talked to him yesterday. I said, Arch, Christ, I said you sound like an old man. He says, Well, I am. I said, Bullshit. Oh, ooh, wow. 
this is the FCC. You've been banned forever. I think that's the first time I've said a nasty word on TFNN since I started 14 years ago. Uh-oh. Sorry about that, boys and girls. But I told him. I said, that's BS, Arch. I said, you're still young. You know, get a, give me a break. I, I hope to. I hope I told him. I said, just don't do anything for a month. Just take a month off. And uh, do it. And it has nothing to do with the market. He's doing really well. He's, you know, he's, he's buys and sells gold all the time. That's how he makes his, uh, makes most of his money. But I was really concerned about him. But I think he'll, I know he'll be okay. But, you know, I've known him a long time. And I hate to see him closing up shop. The main reason is, if you remember, well, you don't remember this, but I do. On August the 25th of 1987, one of the, the godfathers of astrology, uh, George Lindsay, Three Peaks in a Domed House, and he was also an astrologer. He died on that day, the Harmonic Convergence, August the 25th of 1987. And here Arch is coming on yesterday, and I don't know whether this is a top of the market or not. Nobody else does either. The fact that it shook the tree a little bit, no big deal. You know, there'll be buyers on the way down. Like Bernard Baruch said in his book, My Own Story, the greatest scam in Wall Street is to inflate prices to a high price and you'll get people to buy it all the way down. And we've seen it before. Enron, WorldCom, and a whole bunch of others. Anyway, let's move on to talk about a couple of other charts that uh, we need to talk about. We've covered the NASDAQ. Let's get back to the uh, – I want to get back to the natural gas because this has been a really – see if I can get the right chart up for the natural gas. There we are. Very interesting chart today in the natural gas. We had a, those of you that follow it already know this, I'm sure. You'll notice that we made that, there was a third drive up there uh, on Monday, actually Sunday night. Last, The market has broken hard for four days, and the market came right back and made a 61% retracement to the tick at 372. Now, it's a little bit below that, but, you know, that's all it's doing is it went right back to a 382. Okay, that's it. <laughs> You're right, David. David, I can't tell you how much we appreciate your quotes here that you have, especially when you bring this stuff up from Jesse Livermore, because uh, uh, that book I have read 50 times. And folks, if you're listening or, and you're traded and you've never done, read that book, you're doing yourself a tremendous great service, not a uh, disservice. Not only did it tells you what happens during the twenty during the twenty nines and thirty area, but it tells you all about trading and you know why things happen the way they do. It was a masterpiece, and uh, so we'll we'll move on to the next one here, and that's the next one we want to talk about that someone had a question about, and that was our friend the euro. And uh, believe it or not, folks, we didn't quite hit our price in the euro. We've had a really strong rally here today. We missed it by just a hair's breadth. Uh, I think about eight pips, and the market just took off, left the train station without it. We were able to get at the train station in the gold and the crude oil and the uh, treasury bonds, but the euro uh, didn't quite work the way we have it. Folks, we are entering a period, and I've been saying this for well over six months. You're, you're starting to see it. You're starting to see volatility that we haven't seen in a very long time. So you're going to have to pay really close attention to your money management here because if you don't, and if you don't, Mother Market, Father Market, uh, and Grandfather Time is going to teach you a very, very expensive lesson. And I paid for that lesson in 1974, and I don't – you know, and I was young. I mean, I, it never even bothered me. I'm honest to God. You know, it was just money. You know, I had I spent about everything I could spend it on. I mean, I, it was just money. What I was concerned about, what I did wrong. And then after I figured out what I did wrong, then it was – and it was far better than to do it. So that's it. By the way, when I was talking about Nick Leeson, I was not trying to make fun of him at all. I think I, he's been in the speaking business now for well over 15 years. He was in London once uh, giving a speech. I, I wasn't uh, I didn't go to it. But, you know, he's come back. He's become a, uh, a speaker, you know, and he, and he does very well from what I understand. He's a very eloquent speaker, but he is giving a, a seminar on risk management. And I, I, if anybody knows it, it should be him because he certainly paid the big price. So. That's uh, that's neither here nor there. Because I I don't I, if I ever make fun of anybody in this business, please tell me because I never want to do that. That's one thing I've never done. I've tried to respect everybody. Uh, Dr. Mark just posted the Amazon the Reminiscence of a Stock Operator book. If you want to get it, it's it's really uh, it's really worth the uh, the worth of price of admission. It's just it's just a tremendous thing. Now we'll have Shane Smolian as our guest, and tomorrow, boys and girls. 
you are in for a real treat. None other than Norman, who calls it to the men at Winsky, will be on. And, of course, he always has something good for us. We've got these lunar things coming up. We've got the new moon coming up here uh, next week, I believe. And then on the 14th, we're going to have Tim Bost on. And those of you that are thinking about increasing your education on the 24th, excuse me, the 14th and 28th, get into Basil Chapman's uh, room and, and, and learn from him. Uh, he, he's great. He's going to have some really good stuff in there. He's two days of great information in the market where it is. You need all the help you can get, and he'll be able to give it to you. 877-927-6648. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Shane Smolian, TheWolfTrader.com.
Hey, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. You're in the house. All right, let me see if I can share the screen here. Just give me one second. I got kicked okay. off there, so. All right, let me go back. I'm sure uh, TFN will tell us if everything is working okay. Uh, you have to tell us what the Fed is doing today, Bubba, because everybody's interested in it, that's for sure. Can you see the screen? Uh, I can't, but uh, it doesn't look like uh, – uh, broadsword to Danny Boy, broadsword to Danny Boy. We're having some troubles, evidently, Shane. Nobody else can hear. Can, I mean, can anybody hear me out there? 10-4, rubber duck. Yo. I'm here. Can you hear me? I, you're the only one I can hear, unfortunately. Uh, no, nobody can hear us, pal. Uh, you know what? I I don't know what to do. Uh, I know what's happened, but uh, anyway, let's test this again. Uh, is Can anybody hear me? Let's just, well, this, that's why I hate this. <laughs> Okay, okay, hey, 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 we're ready to go. We're live in in person. Shane Smolian, take over the mic, my friend. You're on the mic. Go ahead. Okay, hopefully everybody can see the screen here. All right, so uh, today, just want to start out with the Fear and Greed Index. Uh, Fear and Greed Index is low right now. It's uh, running 29. Uh, it's kind of a strange situation to have that much fear in the market when the market's rallying like this, but these are strange times for sure. So um, anyway, so that's the first graphic there. Hopefully everybody can see it. And we'll go to the next graphic here. So the S&P 500, uh, can everybody see the charts or did you just hear uh, what we're, we're not having any charts. Uh, we're not having any uh, things like that. So we'll have to be. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll try to give you, I'll try to give you guys a visual here. So I did a, a webinar last Saturday. I'll do another one this Saturday too, if this charts don't come up. So the S&P internals, uh, went into a sell on July the 6th. So what does that mean? Those are longer term uh, Fed use indicators. Uh, I did post that. Typically when that goes into a sell, that can last for up to two to four weeks. Uh, the market did turn lower today ahead of that. Um, so uh, today is still a positive statistic on the market generally. So I, you know, it doesn't surprise me that the market bounced like this. I did expect a bounce this morning. I talked about it to my subscribers between 10:30 to 11:30, and the Fed is, um, you know, the Fed is trying to come in and shore this up. But the main thing to look at on this longer-term time frame, like I said, is we have now entered a period where the S&P is essentially, I said, it's either stagnating or it's going to start heading lower. Uh, and as long as the Fed is uh, pulling back, getting relatively weak, then uh, that will likely continue. So um, getting into some, I guess they don't have any charts to show you guys, but I'll, I'll flip through it and describe this the best that I can. So today is a positive statistic as well as tomorrow. Now, we do have some Astro coming in, peaking. Uh, the optimized Bradley comes in on July the 9th, which is tomorrow. So we are now seeing the Fed internals into a sell and the optimized Bradley into a sell on Friday. So I think that could give the market some pause here and some reason to maybe have a little bit of a pullback into here. Uh, but we have to keep in mind that this is all subject to, to what the Fed does on a day-to-day -day basis. So as it is right now, though, uh, typically, like I said, that's two to four weeks when the Fed use internal goes into a sell. And then that uh, optimized Bradley going into a sell tomorrow. So uh, probably some type of a, a minor correction could be 10 days, something like that, because the optimized Bradley does go into a buy later on into the month again. So uh, just kind of an interesting chart there to look at if we can get it back. Uh, the dollar juice is still in a buy. Uh, when we look at the S&P in terms of what's going on with the dollar, that's still a buy. So we don't have everything here uh, completely synchronized yet to get a downturn. Uh, when you get these moves that kind of fall out of the sky like this and you still have everything's not completely synchronized, a lot of times what you'll get is you'll get a retracement. And we're starting to see that now in the S&P. So I think today and tomorrow, like I said, still positive statistics, but in that longer term, trying to, to kind of roll over here a little bit. Uh, I don't see a major, major high though probably until August. So that's the next time that I, I could see us maybe maybe rolling over here. Um, I do have the Astro Inversion uh, model, which I have been working on, and that has the S&P. That put the S&P into a sell on July the 6th also. So uh, between the Astro Inversion and between the Fed Use Internals, it did pick this little high up 
on the S&P uh, relatively nicely here. So um, gold, we want to talk about gold? Hello? I'm here. No, no, okay. you said gold. Everybody's waiting. Hmm. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, so let's talk. So, so S&P, just to summarize, before we get to gold, long-term internals went into a sell. Uh, we are still in some relatively positive statistics today and tomorrow. Uh, so once we get past Friday, that's when you can get some astro highs coming in too. So uh, definitely S&P looks like it getting some headwinds here. All right, getting into gold. Uh, gold is in a process of trying to bottom right now. Uh, this, you know, when we look at the statistical summaries of each week of the month, this is the strongest statistical week for gold. Uh, so we do expect, we did expect gold to be strong from a statistical standpoint this week. However, um, the Fed juice is still in a sell on gold. So I'd like to see the Fed juice come back into a buy before I could say, hey, this has a chance to go up and the Fed juice is still in that sell. So once we get the Fed juice in a buy, we are coming into positive seasonals. So when you get positive seasonals combined with uh, the the Fed juice, then you have a chance for the the gold to rally. But right now, the Fed juice is out of sync with this. So this is synchronized, uh, not synchronized quite yet. Uh, once the Fed juice crosses up, though, I think gold has a chance to rally. But we have to be patient and wait for that. So uh, positive seasonals are coming in. Uh, the double optimized lunar cycle is coming into a buy around the 13th, which is a, around a week. So gold has a chance here to be building. Uh, for the next few weeks. At least it has a chance. Let's just see if it can do it. And like I said, that Fed juice needs to cross into a buy before we could say, hey, this looks like it's got a chance here to break out higher. Wow, that's really good. Now, you mentioned uh, the Bradley the Bradley model. Now, is this the straight Bradley model or do you do modifications like Norm does? Well, this is actually an optimized version. This is actually from Alfie's program. Uh, Alfie Lavoy, uh, mm -hmm. Air Software, and so this actually optimizes. It's similar to a solar cycle, but it kind of picks and chooses based upon the most recent market action. So, I've been using that. It's been for the S and P. It's been pretty good, uh, to be honest with you. And uh, I had a chart up here which we can't see, but it it's picked some pretty good broad base highs and lows in the last uh, few months. So we're kind of moving into that as as one of our our go to indicators. Uh, from from an astro basis because it's been so good. So like I said, that optimized Bradley's coming into that into that sell pattern on July the 9th. So that combined with the Fed tells me that the S and P could be trying to to see some type of a short term high. Okay, can you stay with us for another segment, Shane? Sure. We'll be right back, folks. Shane's at WolfTrader.com. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Shane Smolian, TheWolfTrader.com. We have two questions for you, Shane. The first one is, uh, what would be a good book for someone to start out uh, to, to learn astrology? I mean, it's a lifetime achievement award, but is there one book that you would start out with? Or how, how did you start out? That was the second question. Astrology or financial astrology? The financial astrology. Well, I think the book that you and I wrote is a good one, A Trader's Guide to Financial Astrology. Uh, that's a good one. That's a good introduction. Larry and I wrote that a few years ago. If you just want regular astrology, you want to understand the different signs and the characteristics, you know, the, the most classic book is Linda Goodman's Sun Signs. That's the most classic one to, as an introduction. Uh, can you see the charts now, Larry, on the on the screen here? Can you see that? Uh, I, 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 I am not able to see the charts, but that's – yes, I can. I can see oh, here the we go. chart up now. It's your long S&P. Yes, we're up sure. and right. Whoa, whoa, this is good. So let me just make a disclaimer to, to everybody listening in the audience. If you're tuning in from week to week, you have to understand that what I do is subject to what the Fed does. So, you know, it may be one thing the week before, and I update it daily for the subscribers. So, you know, the Fed juice did go into the cell on the, on, the, on the 6th of July. That's just what happens. So if you heard from a week before and you're hearing now, you know, the subscribers know that this happened. So... You know, this isn't like a newsletter at the beginning of the month where I'm just, you know, I'm bullish all month and that's what it is. It depends on what the Fed does. So there's a feedback loop here. So I just want to warn people against that, that unless you're subscribed and you're getting the daily updates, you know, week to week, it's hard to gauge. If you hear something a week ago, it might be different than now. So just mm -hmm. wanted to, to make that clear. Um, this is July the 6th here. So this is mm -hmm. where these internals went into the cell on the S&P. And again, the next two days are still relatively positive, but with that uh, optimized Bradley coming in as a cell. Uh, this is a chart here showing the optimized Bradley. This is the pink here on this mm -hmm. chart. So the blue is the Fed. The pink is the optimized Bradley. With these two coming into a cell, I think you do have a chance for the S&P to make some type of uh, like an intermediate high here. But I am long term very bullish on the S&P. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just that you know we have to be careful and watch what the Fed does because this market really responds to what is going on mm -hmm. with the Fed. This is really a feedback from what the Fed is doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, can, can I make a small correction? Sure. About the, the book that we wrote together, uh, folks, uh, Shane came, to, it's about five years ago, Shane, when we first about met? About five years, yep, yep. About five years ago, uh, he came out to uh, visit. I don't know, he was in the area, so I said, yeah, come on over. And so he came over in the morning, and we started chatting, and Sarah was in the other room trading, and we kept talking and talking and talking. And uh, we, uh, we went out to lunch, as I recall. And uh, I think you you went to the restroom or to wash your hands. And Sarah said to me, she said, if you let him leave after just one day, she said, I'm going home with him. And I said, <laughs> and I, said <laughs> I said, yeah, I know he's pretty smart. She said, not only is he pretty smart, he said, but he's he's normal. He said, some of these people that come to see you are not normal. He said, this guy's really normal. Do not let him out of your sight. <laughs> and so when we, if we came back the next couple of days, uh, I was in the midst of uh, uh, getting ready to do a book for uh, for Wiley. They had pressured me, well, not pressured me, but I had signed a contract. I was running about six months late, and in stepped Santa Claus from from Florida. And Shane basically uh, wrote all the book, 
And uh, we, we collaborated, if you want to call it that, but you did a fabulous job on that. And uh, But every time I talk to you, I think about that when you came over to uh, to see us that day. And that's how some people just jump into your lap and we've become friends through the years. But you've done a great job where you've come so far. My goodness, look, you should be so proud of yourself. I mean, you were, you were ju- just in, you know, teaching physics just a little while ago. And look, at, look where you are now. I mean, you're doing the money show and you've got all the websites and the Fed Juice. Uh, uh, you should be really proud of yourself. Well, thank you so much, so Larry. I, I appreciate I, all I your help. I, I certainly am because uh, it's really fun. Now, do you have? You said you had a webinar coming up this uh, this Saturday. Yeah, we're going to start doing it weekly again. I had done it before weekly, but every every Saturday. I don't have the time set yet. I'll send out a, an, uh, an email later tonight, also on the Twitter. But mm-hmm. I'll just kind of I go more in depth. Last Saturday we went crazy with it. It was two hours long, but. Uh, it's probably going to be 30 minutes to an hour each week just to kind of give you an update on the market. But again, you know, what happens week to week could be very different than day to day. So this is why I'm trying to say about what's going on with the Fed juice. It it really depends upon what the Fed does on each day. So uh, if I say something last Saturday, things can change. Like obviously things changed on July the 6th when the internals went into the cell. Uh, and then, you know, the market's starting to, to show some weakness already with that. So just we just want to put that disclaimer out that this is not just a one one size fits all forecast for the month. We have to pay attention very closely to what's going on. Folks, I can verify that July 6th Fed change uh, with he talked about because he Skyped me that. And here we were at all, all we were all time highs on the 6th and 7th. And yet it turned out to be uh, to be correct. Well, at least for one day, if nothing else. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. OK. Okay, uh, one of the questions that someone is uh, asking about uh, re- regarding the financial astrology versus the difference between the uh, mundane astrology and the one with the Uranian astrology. Sometimes you use that as a, uh, a vehicle. What is the difference between the two is what the question is. Well, you can use Uranian astrology for mundane astrology. Mundane astrology is essentially making predictions. Uranian astrology is... A type of astrology that uses these extra trans Neptunian points, and then we use the midpoints. So it's not just about oh Saturn's making a square to Uranus. Uranus, it's where is the midpoint at that time? Uh, how is it affecting the Sun? The Sun is is important because typically for transits to manifest, it needs to be aspecting the Sun. Typically, not always, but typically, or the Aries point, which is the world. But we just look at more information. It's just it's just taking in, uh, astrology and it's bringing it with more information. It was developed by the Germans back in the early 1900s, and uh, it's just it's a wealth of information because all the midpoints, all the permutations go. There's just so many things you can look at, uh, but it really depends on the question you're asking or the field that you're looking in. So, that hopefully that answers the question. Uh, yeah, it sure does, and I know it's very very intense. Uh, that's uh, no question about it. I I have a hard time figuring out between the new moons and the full moons, but one thing I do know. A, B equals C, D, as old Mark Douglas would tell me. Hey, listen, partner, thanks for being on today. We'll have you on in a few weeks. Be safe and keep bringing out this great information. And let me know when the seminar is or your webinar is on Saturday, and I'll uh, bring some people in to let you take let, let you take a look at what you're doing, okay? Sure, Larry. I appreciate that. Everybody have a great right. week, okay? We we appreciate you too, my friend. Shane Smolian, folks, wolftrader.com, fedjuice.com. You have to respect it because uh, it's certainly been telling you which direction this market's been going. Okay, we've now exceeded the 50% retracement in the S&P, folks. The the next one to look at will be the 61% retracement, six points away at 43.25. And after that, we'll be heading for new highs up around 43.54. So we've had a nice bounce back this morning, which... I really felt we were probably going to get that. And the reason for it, we were down so much and people get up in the morning and say, oh, my God, we've got sales going on. And here they are and they're out there buying. And that's what usually happens. I do not know whether this is a high. All I know, it was a high. It you know, it was down 65 handles at one time, uh, 520 points in the Dow Jones. So that was a correction. Whether it's going to be a big one or not, I don't know. The same thing is true with the TLT, we did the same thing. We don't know where the where the bonds are going. They're a full point under where the sell point is, but that doesn't mean it's going to stay that way. The main thing is, is both gold and, of course, crude oil is doing, doing okay, but you keep your risks as small as you can and make sure you use stops and practice good risk control. We're going to take a break, 877-927-6648.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. And uh, I would want to make an announcement here. Of course, we'll have Norm Winsky tomorrow, uh, Astro Trends out of Naples, Florida. And on Monday, back after a short a stint in uh, New Jersey will be none other than the Harley stock market letter king himself. Stan Harley will be our guest at uh, the half hour uh, on Monday show, God willing. And right now it looks like uh, she is. So we'll have both of those folks on. Tomorrow will be Norm. And then we have Stan Harley. And then on Wednesday we will have the 14th. We will have Tim Boss. That's the day that Basil is doing his first uh, web webinar. And then he'll be doing another one on the 28th. Uh, don't miss those folks because you're in market conditions that he masters, and so it'd be great information there. I'll be doing a day trading thing to make a few bucks for us uh, on August the 4th, I believe, is the day we're looking at. And I've got a uh, nice book to give out, and I've got another couple of freebies, especially something on the, the stock market uh, long term and what these patterns mean on a longer t uh, term basis. So anyway, that's where we are. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Let me let me leave you with one chart that I think is the most important of any that I've done, and that is this long-term weekly chart. I know 
Uh, we've had a little bit of a correction. We've uh, we went up to one almost one. We went to 148.80 and we broke down uh, below uh, 145, I believe, uh, a little more than that, I guess today. So we we have some type of a correction going on. How much it's going to be and how long it's going to last, you know, I don't really know. But when the market can come back, you know, as quickly as it did after being down 500 points, that's a good sign. It tells us there's a lot of people in there willing to buy and sell and boys. That's what makes a ball game, and that's what we like to see. No matter what, either up or down, it's going to be fun. So keep that in mind. Try to do something for your neighbors, folks. There's still a lot of folks that are having trouble. And also root for the old England team when they play the next game with whatever it is, that soccer, football, whatever they call it over there. Mr. Hugard was happy as a happy boy. Hey, we'll see you all tomorrow. Amen. Building wealth, trading in.